All right, guys, welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. How we doing now? The spawn has started, baby. Doesn't get any better than that. I'm gonna start this episode off because I'm rigging up to go out there and catch some slabs, and that's what we're gonna do today in this episode. But before we do, I'm gonna show you exactly my setup so you guys know what I'm fishing with. Um, first and foremost, I'm gonna go out on piles to start this episode off with. So I'm loving the hair jigs. Check them out. I've been promoting hair jigs a lot. They're on my website. We have a big variety of them, and they're awesome. Every one of them. These are the 132nd ounce. The all white, the combo packs are where you wanna be at. But what I like to do is I like to start this off with a loop knot, okay? Now there's a lot of ways of doing a loop knot, but we just twirl it around like that. We stick it right back through the loop that we had created. And this is where we decide kind of how far from the, the jig, and that's the, called the, the gaba goo stuff right there. That's gonna decide where that knot actually is placed. And we want it as close to the eyelet as we possibly can. And for my purposes today, we're gonna go with a half inch. That's what that is right there. So we're gonna trim that off. And now I love a number seven split shot. I still get asked this question, what size split shot, which is amazes me. I've posted this so much. Number seven split shot. Has to be able to go on and off the braid. So it has to be able to be taken off because we change that throughout a day. And that's my rig right there, guys. About, about 12 inches, 15 inches above the hair jig using Sniping Braid Comet. You guys can check those guys out. Everything here you're gonna see is actually on my website if you'd like to just go to 3 fishingcom And then, because I have a very finicky bite on my lake, and that's constant. It's the hardest bite in Southern Illinois. Most people would tell you that. It's a black crappie, it's very finicky. It has not committed to your bait. You have to play them and be perfect about them. But we use the Hammer 10. This is the 10 footer. I the best 10 footer on the market. It allows you to set the hook absolutely quick. There's no give. As soon as you set the hook, boom. No big motions required, very little wrist action, and you set it extremely quick. And that's why I love a 10 footer, in particular the Hammer 10. So let's get out there, let's catch some fish. Welcome to Three Pound Fishing. If you haven't been here before, please subscribe. Bam, let's do this. First fish of the day. I gotta tell you guys, I was planning on having the hammer here, but I left it back on the dock. Oh my gosh. But the beautiful thing is we're catching fish regardless. And we got the king's tail, which I absolutely love. Great starter fish right there, guys. We let them go on three pound fishing. There we go. We got them. Should be a good fish, guys. This guy came from absolutely the bottom. Yep, good fish. Fish number two, three casts. All right, right there, guys. Great fish, good eater size fish, in my opinion. Um, 11 and a half inch or something like that. But I can tell you, you know, because the bait, or I'm sorry, because the bite is somewhat finicky, we're in the middle of the day here, you got 65 degree water temperatures, it's not gonna be an aggressive thump, it's just, it's just not. So you really do need to learn like the mannerisms that the fish have as they're making their way to your bait. If they're coming slow, you're gonna kinda of react a little bit like them. And right before they get to your bait, you wanna definitely accelerate it a little bit. And that usually allows them to really wanna finish off what they're doing. If you just remember this, this saying, I always say it all the time on my guide trips, if you give them time, they will make the right decision, which is of course not to eat your bait, right? That's how they get big. Um, but you make them react, a reaction bite, they're gonna close that gap and they're gonna make it happen. Now, I think it's extremely easier with a 10 footer, the Hammer 10. Still got all my Hammer 10s here, except for the one I just built at the beginning of this episode. They are beautiful. You need to check them out. They're back in stock, like I said. Obviously the King's Tail works great, but I can tell you that setting a hook with a shorter rod is a little bit more difficult at least for me i'm used to a 10 footer it make, it's such a small movement i need to to hook set so hammer 10 10 footers totally recommend especially on a finicky quick bite no doubt about it now these fish are about 18 foot down we're looking at 66 water temperature here so roughly around 65 and i'm going to bring it all the way down there and again I'm, I'm really wanting the movement from the bigger guys down there on the pile those are the ones i'm targeting 
Um, but you don't always get that. Sometimes you're going to get the, you know, any old fish that could, you know, possibly want it. But sometimes I try to just bypass them and go really fast and see if I can just get to the bigger. All right, guys, I went home and got the hammer 10 off my dock. And so we're back in business. We got the actual hammer 10 here. Show you how quick and little movement it takes to set a hook on a finicky bite with it. That's the goal. So we're coming up on some structure here. And so that's our, uh, that's gonna be our target right here. As you see it coming into, oh, look at this guys. So a lot of times I will take a split shot off when I'm trying to maneuver around a structure like this, but we're gonna see if we can hit it right in front of it first. There we go. So quick, such a quick bite, man. And that hammer 10 just absolutely does it for you. Boom, good little eater right there. Perfect. Really a slow fall. You can see it just falling right here, guys. And that's the advantage of taking that split shut off. Gives you all the time in the world. See that guy maneuver right there to it? Didn't want it. But it gives you all that time in the world to maneuver it around trees. And that's the beauty, I mean, truly the beauty of it. Now, obviously the disadvantage, it's really a slow fall, especially when you're fishing where I'm at right now, which is about 15 feet down. It takes a while, but the payoff's good because you don't get hung up. Good looking fish here, guys. Area I don't typically fish, but it's fun to find new stuff for the guide trips. Boom, that did not take long at all. Good fish here. Good fish. Silo fish right there, guys. Putting it go, of course. Hammer 10 makes it easy to set the hook. So on your spawning, you know, think about, you know, having different types of rods, whatever, you know, brand you choose. Um, think about having multiple size rods. If I'm gonna think I'm gonna do any jigging whatsoever, the 10 footer, the hammer 10, unbelievable. If I'm gonna only be up shallow, only throw in a float, uh, three foot, then I, I think the, the King's tail, the eight footer, super light, easy on you all day long for action. Uh, that's, my, that's my advice. So there you go. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, great day, great spawning, uh, end of April, doesn't get much better. Check out the hair jigs on the website. Can't emphasize it enough. Makes your day that much easier. If you don't have to mess with plastics, it just doesn't get any better. Efficiency means more fish in the boat. Always will, always has. Um, and uh, three pound fishing, baby. I appreciate it. Please subscribe and share the video.